Good morning. So, all right, now we're gonna talk about some kind of weird stuff that a lot of people, some people know about and some people don't know a whole bunch about, but we're gonna talk about the title commitment, the CCNRs and the HOA. So a title commitment is something that the title company puts together to, and then they'll send over to us to review for five days. But basically they determine whether the how the property is, like if it has any liens on it, things like that, where other contractors may have done work and didn't get paid, or you know, sometimes solar is a lien that goes on the property, things like that. So they they compile all of that information into the title commitment and let us know if the title is clean and clear with no clouds, and then Typically it is, and if, it, if there is anything, we can get those things cleaned out through the title process and through this whole process, and it's not a big deal. Um, but you do wanna look out for that title commitment. The other thing is the HOA. So most of us know what an HOA is. An HOA is basically a group of people that compile rules for the neighborhood. Now, there, there's positives and negatives for most people. The positives are they do keep your neighborhood nice and they do give you the, you know, make sure people aren't parking in the front yard and things like that. Um, and then that your houses stay painted, all these kind of things. But they also can tell you, you know, you can't have RVs, we can't have boats, maybe you can't park on the street. There are some situations. So we do wanna look over the HOA rules when we get those from the title company also. And then CCNRs, this is kind of like an HOA, but these are rules that are put into place in a certain area that are because so it's it's more of something that's more set in stone where HOA rules can change a little bit these are more what the property's usage is for so like if you're allowed to have horses how many horses you can have some areas don't allow pre-manufactured homes they only do site-built homes some only do manufactured homes and no site built homes. So there's different things like that. So we're gonna to wanna to make sure we look over those CCNRs also if there are any. Um, other than that, let's keep rolling and on to the appraisal next. I'll talk to you guys soon. If you know anybody that's looking to buy or sell, let us know. We like ha helping happy people buy and sell homes. Thanks, bye.